have a disease called spinal muscular atrophy, which affects my muscles. The message from my brain to my spinal cord gets messed up along the way. Like wheelchair accessible is different from person accessible. <laughs> and so all it meant was that we had to leave my wheelchair behind and figure out a new way. We started with a child carrier, rebuilt the seat, and we added some other cushioning and, and a neck support and things like that. I was leaving my wheelchair behind. I was going to a completely different continent I'd, I'd never been to. I was blown away, I think, by the, the richness and the depth of the friendships that we, we got to develop just by being together. We were already friends, but then you have this kind of built-in struggle of carrying someone on your back. And it, it wasn't just getting me in the backpack to go out for the day, but when we got home at night, I still needed help. Kind of was three weeks of nonstop care for, for me and, and for the other guys too. While my wheelchair allows me some independence to be alone and to go places by myself, being in a backpack allows me a different kind of freedom to go places that I wouldn't otherwise be able to. So it's two different kinds of freedom. I would say the majority of people were just really encouraged by what they what they saw. People would just like walk up and shake our hands and thank us for what we were doing, and, you know, celebrate with us. You may not have the full story, you know, you may not know that I have spinal muscular atrophy. Like you may not know the details, but what is visible and clear, even at a distance, is that there's something wrong with me and these guys are carrying me, not because it's their job, but just because we're friends and we're having a good time together and, and we love each other. And I think it's just such a clear picture of love, like brotherly love and care for one another that we don't have to explain or, or preach, we can just live and be an example of. And so it was cool to see that click for people. From that uh, experience, we had a ton of families reach out to us and ask two big questions. Where did you get this backpack? And where did you get these friends? And so um, we started the nonprofit as a way to answer those questions. We've made the backpack available to people to buy or to receive as a kind of a sponsored donation. But then we also are working alongside families and individuals with disabilities to say, well, here's, here's how you build community around you.